and took a drink, friends. And then the drink took a drink. And then the drink took the man. Now that could have been the end of the story. But because there is a power greater than ours, that young man was able to raise himself up and walk again in the sunlight of grace. Dearly beloved, that young man was myself. Amen. So if you'd all just follow Brother Todd here, he'll take you downstairs and get some decent nourishment. Brother Todd? have met, uh, have we not? Yeah, we've yeah. definitely met, Farley. You owe me a hundred bucks. Cool at nine hard. Well, there ain't no work here. Oh, there's work, but we got a full crew. Why don't you try one of the joints in the French Quarter? We got a pretty big turnover. Thank you. Well, you know I had to get out of New York in a hurry. You know, the cops seemed to think that you had swindled some ladies a little, and they were very anxious to speak with you. Ministers run a terrible risk with neurotic old women. They really do. Yeah. And while we're on the subject, how about my hundred bucks? Oh, now, Reinhardt, if, if I had a hundred bills to get, man, I wouldn't be here. I'd be in California or Arizona where the action is. Sorry to hear that. Because I'm down to 50 in my wedding ring. Oh, dear boy. If I had it, I wouldn't be holding out on you. You know that. OK, then. <clears throat> What's shaking down this way? Sorry, baby, but we're just not hiring anybody right now. Well, it looks like a mixed drinks. Sorry, honey. Matthew Bingaman is? Yeah, he marries movie stars. He owns a baseball team. He also owns WUSA. The station manager is a guy named Noonan. And the new patriotism is his idea. It's not like the old patriotism, Reinhardt. It's a bit more extreme. And for everybody doing his own thing. All right. Go and see Noonan, then. Uh, but if you come uh, upon a spot for an old trooper, uh, you will let me know, won't you? Sure, Farley. Hey. How about 50 of that hundred you owe me? Now, Reinhardt, I just... Hey. Uh, just one minute. I think I may just have about... Uh, Here's $30. Honestly, I just can't spare more. Buck up, mate. The world doesn't come to an end when you're down to your last $50 and a gold ring. You're right, Farley. That's when the world really begins. And Reinhardt, if you want to talk about that drinking problem, uh, don't hesitate to call on me. <laughs> You're a friend. No, you really are. You're just like your picture.
Great. Welcome. Please come up. Mr. Clotho, I'm Morgan Rainey. I've come to pick up the forms on a welfare survey. After you, sir. Told me at the office to, to get, 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 get in touch with you, but they, they didn't tell me much more than that. There ain't much more to it than that, Mr. Rainey. I amassed some facts and figures for your applause. You're going to feed them into the machinery of the state. Well, to tell you the truth, I, I don't even know what, what the uh, statistics are about. I wouldn't expect you to know, sir. Field work before. Um, I've always tried to, to, to be in some contact with the, the people involved. Um, I was wondering if I, I could meet some of the folks that were surveyed for a few uh, uh, interviews and uh, meetings that uh, might humanize it a bit. Don't you think they know what they're doing downtown, Mr. Ray? in an automobile accident. Sorry about that. If we ever see you hustling around here again, Independent, you're gonna have another one. I 
got your steak. No, I never did get my steak. You know, people don't usually buy you anything to eat anyway. They'll buy you uh, enough whiskey to make you slosh around like a barrel. Well, they'll buy, buy you seven hours of a shuffleboard game, but if you're hungry, you just forget it. I think it's a question of morals. Oh, is that what you think it is? I was pulling for you. I'll buy you a steak. I just, uh... You earned your nourishment. Are you one of those guys that like to watch people do things? No, I'm the opposite of one of those guys. What? Come on. Christ. No, I'm not as hungry as I was. Come on. I think you're the one who ought to have something to eat. I didn't know you were so juicy. Must be a change in the humidity. What do you do? I'm a communicator. Must be a new kind of thing. Hey? Listen, I don't know why you're standing there carrying all that stuff around with you. Why don't you go on home and get some sleep? Because, boy, that's sure what I want to do. Just because you uh, bought me a steak doesn't mean I got to invite you upstairs, does it? But that's what you're waiting for, right? Hey, pretty. Hey. Hi. Hey. Hey, anybody want to buy a wager? Yeah. Why don't you give him one? It's a lucky day. How many did you want? Two. I need two. Hope you get lucky. the street before there was this guy? Yeah, I saw him. Wow. Thought he had a bunch of rings on his fingers. That's over now. Where are you from? Oh, West Virginia. From Pennsylvania, same mountains. Hmm. What the hell they are? What's a communicator? I used to be a musician. Did you make any money? Never made a dime. You must not have been an account then. I practiced all the time. That must have been nice. Yeah, it was. Well, you got yourself in here, all right. No getting around that. What's your name anyway, buddy? Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Wait. I'm 
Mrs. Reinhardt and Mr. Noon is expecting me. Through that door and to the left. Thank you. You must be Reinhardt. What can you do for us, Mr. Reinhardt? Well, I, um, I usually work in a musical format, but I can work the news and I can edit wire copy. I do pitches. Oh. It's a powerful package. I used to work the small stations, and you get to keep your hand in. Mm-hmm. But we're not a small station. No. You see, the difference between us and other stations is we know what we want to do. Most of them don't, you know, but... Uh... We know pretty much exactly. You mean it's not amateur night? Yes. <laughs> yes, that's very well put. You see, we have a situation right now where we're, we're ready to bring someone in off the streets and let him show us what he can do. I mean, we'll listen, but we can't provide a lot of time, sympathetic understanding. What do you want to listen to? Well, no, why don't you take five minutes of news off the ticks and we'll tape it? We might have something to talk about. Let's go do it. Mr. Reinhardt, we, uh, we have a point of view here at WUSA. Do you know about our point of view? Yeah, I know about your point of view. And where do you think your boyfriend's at? I couldn't tell you. Maybe you said something make him sore. I never even knowed it. I do that all the time with my boyfriend. Sometimes they don't even never come back. I wouldn't even care if he did anyway, but he left all his, his stuff in my room. Oh, I had some bad ones, that's the truth. I had the worst son of bitches you ever saw. Hey! What do you think about the bomb, Clyde? What? Well, what do you think about the bomb? See, you don't give a rat's nicks about the bomb. Because you're not a liberal. Is she a liberal? She don't look like a liberal to me. See, there's one thing I'm into. That's the dignity of mankind. And if there's one thing that I object to, it's discrimination on the basis of race, color, or creed. Because I'm a liberal, ain't that great? Huh? <laughs> you better go in there and sober up. <laughs> Master. Where you been? Hmm? I got a job. Communicating? I work for WUSA. I'm part of a pattern in somebody's head. What are you doing now? Like that. And then there's music. And every hour on the hour, there's news. And the news is always bad. Well, listen, don't let it get you down. <laughs> You're doing better than I am. I'm not a pattern in anybody's head, and I cannot get a job in this town. What kind of job you want? Oh, barmaid, waitress. I'm too dumb for the phone company and too old for the five and dime. <laughs> How long you been doing that? Oh, I say it was a long time, mister. Down here? Oh, Dallas, Fort Smith, Oakey City, all of them. Where'd you get cut? Texas. Man cut me with a oyster opening thing. Guess I said the first thing that came into my head. You can't do that in Texas. Yeah, but how was I to know that? <laughs> you married? Yeah, I was married. Somebody shot the boy. We were real young, and uh, he used to fight when he got drunk. So somebody shot him. 
Are you married? I rented a place in the quarter, and I'm going down there. Can I go with you? Yeah. Why can I go with you? Because you want it. I think you're doing the right thing. I tell you, I, I got a plan. Why don't you go over there and I'll stay here, okay? Sorry. <laughs> that boy is gonna be late for his job at the morgue. Nice. I like it. I sure hope it turns out better this time. You're not going to sober up and change your mind. Hey.
lines put on me. All kinds. Most time I just won't be someplace else. But I won't be someplace else now. the big clean American sound of WUSA, the sound of a decent generation. clean and happy livers, that's us for another p.m. And while we're all counting the hours, think about wrapping your teeth around a Big Daddy frozen pecan pie. You'll get a big payoff and rich natural goodness every time. WSA. Now we'll leave you with one message, the big message. The future of America is up to you. The children of the night, what beautiful music they make, huh? Yeah, I think I'm zeroed into the big pulse. I can hear all those dirty feet tapping. They're all delighted upstairs. They must have big things in store for you. Yeah, they're very sweet. I think they got big things in store for everybody. I'll see you, Swinger. <laughs> You come for her? Oh, no, but uh, we're working on a survey. You come by, too? You come now. Right here. What you telling her? How she know what you talking about? I'm sorry.
Lieutenant Jolin? Um, uh, I don't even know any children. Is a baby yours? The child's a male offspring of a client. I may undertake his upbringing. And you know, things being the way they are, I think I may bring him up as a girl. <laughs> I really may. The, uh, the old, the old woman, uh, not back, is she one of our clients? Oh, yeah. Is it uh, in in here that she's uh, uh, dying? Yeah, I'm sure it's in there. Maybe only machines can read it. Mr. Ray, the entire community is gratified by your concern. running in my life. Because I got something in my nature that pisses people off. <laughs> you know, sometimes I feel like I just like to run to water and drown. Don't. Don't drown. Don't let them force you to extremes. You gotta be like me. You gotta be a master of disguise. You chase me to water. I'll grow gills and disappear into a flurry of fins. How come you gotta be a master of disguise? I mean, why are you a master of disguise instead of a clarinet player like you're supposed to be? Let's just say it's an imperfect world. Foot. What the hell kind of answer is that? I couldn't blow jingle bells now. Well, you never were really any good. Were you? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I was good. I was hot stuff. That was my thing, and it was pretty goddamn elegant. Hmm. Well, how'd you lose it, then? I didn't lose it. It doesn't work that way. I went to school to nuns. I learned to play clarinet from nuns, and they believe in grace. They believe that if you can wiggle your ears or... <laughs> or run faster than other people, or if you can blow clarinet better, you have what they call gratuitous grace. It's free, take. But you can't get rid of it. I mean, it's not up to you. And maybe that's what your whole life gets to be about which is a pain in the ass. Because you have to hassle it. You gotta wrangle it. Otherwise, see it. It turns bad inside of you. And poisons you. And you sort of die of it. Me? I couldn't wrangle it. Maybe I didn't have the time. Maybe things were weren't moving fast. I believe things were moving too fast. I don't even remember anymore. I had it made, and I woke up one morning and looked down and fell off my life. So now you think it's easier just being a drunk? Helps me sleep. Oh, wow. Well, you've got a lot of spite in you, Reinhardt. You're not going to tell me how it is, are you, friend? You think I don't understand, but I do. At least I think so. Even if I don't know a friggin' thing about grace. Hi. I hope I'm not 
I'm not disturbing y'all. Not at all. Come on in. I have some ice cream here. Strawberry, if y'all would like some. Why, sure. Come on in. I'll get them both. Take a seat. It's very nice here. Uh, yeah, we try to keep it clean. Uh, I, I don't mean to be nosy, but there's something I wanted to ask you about. Go right ahead. Uh, you know, I, I, I work for a survey of city welfare clients. <laughs> we thought you worked at the morgue. No, I, I don't. Yeah, that's, that's true. We were indulging in a fantasy. No, I, I, don't, I don't work at the morgue. But I've heard you on the radio, Mr. Reinhardt. I know that, that you work for WUSA. And uh, I keep hearing that station make a lot of charges about the uh, welfare structure in town. Uh, in fact, I, I heard you read a, an editorial about it the other day. But I just cannot understand what evidence your, you know, your people could have to support uh, such charges like the ones you make. I couldn't tell you, friend. At 6 o'clock, I read an editorial, and at 9 o'clock, another hack reads it. It's got nothing to do with us. I see. Oh, I see. But aren't those uh, editorials pretty vituperative? Yeah. That's the way it is down there. Bernard, don't put the man on. Hmm. Listen, he doesn't believe anything he hears down at that station, not even the news. You don't believe it? That must be very hard uh, for you. Well, belief is a very subtle and delicate thing. Hmm. It's very hard for me to understand how you can do it. I wouldn't let it bother me. Well, I, I know I'm not minding my business. I just thought of something I had to ask you. What is this social service work that you've been doing? Oh. Well. Uh, I was working in Venezuela for a while. And uh, when I came back from there, I had a... bout of uh, illness. And I uh, wanted to get back in contact with people again, so... I took this job with the welfare survey. There isn't much to it. Carrying forms around, which I cannot read because they're for machines. <laughs> well, what'd you do in Venezuela? <clears throat> well, I was there for six months. And, uh, well, I, I don't know if what we did came to anything, but uh, there was this barrier we worked, uh, worked in that was on, a, on a, a cliff over the Yata River. And we built a fence to keep the kids from falling in. <laughs> and uh, I had the basketball team, which I, I, I mean, our barrio did. I coached them. Well, I, I guess that that was the high point of my achievement. Say. Hey, you're not, you're not in this for the money, are you? What? No, I figured, uh, I had a feeling you, you weren't, are you? Uh, yeah. No, I had the, the feeling when I saw you with your ice cream that we were in the presence of the somehow good. I guess I shouldn't have invited myself in. I'm sorry. Listen, don't let him get to you, mister. He's just being smart. I apologize. That's no, I apologize. I was, no, I was just being smart to show up in front of my girl. Uh, don't go up and leave all your ice cream. No, really. It, it's not even strawberry. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? Prove? Not, not to prove anything. Just trying to stay alive. And human.
Hey. I just want you to know, I hope you make it. What do you say, fella? How are you? Fine. Mr. Reinhardt, I'd like you to know you've added immeasurably to my listening pleasure. It's good of you to say that. You are one of the few people around who realizes there's such a thing as swinging news. Oh, thank you. Um, <clears throat> it's all in the wires. It's, it's really happening, sort of. Well, sure it is. When people hear the news treated right, they respond to it like they do to music. It's a matter of emphasis, isn't it, Reinhardt? It's a matter of beat. Couldn't agree with you more. I'm glad that's the case, because our pattern's going to be a part of your life now. Of course, you'll continue to work in your musical format. That's what you do best, but... Oh, boy, I'm so very pleased with the caliber of work you've been doing for us, and I think we may expand your sphere of activity a little. There's only one thing I can think of is slow you down. That'd be you taking me for a damn fool. I wouldn't do that. Of course you wouldn't. <laughs> That'd be one hell of a mistake. <laughs> Every now and then, we come out from behind our glass walls and mix with the folks a little. We hold an old-fashioned patriotic revival. We introduce a few celebrated speakers. There's music. Everybody sings a few good old songs. We're thinking we might put you in the pivot there. That'd be interesting. Sure enough. You think he's the right style for our folks, Big? I think he's class. That's what I think. I think that's our folks' style. Absolutely. Jimmy talks about our folks. He means the people we're trying to reach. These people are hurting, Reinhardt. They're hurting, and they don't really know what's hurting them. We're trying to help them find out. Oh, well put, Bing. Uh, they I... need us. We need them. Deep down, I think they are aware that the kind of politics we have in this country today is just not going to work anymore. We've got a new kind, or you might call it an old kind, new. If they're made to think about it enough, they're going to come to see us what they want to. So we hit the issues, crime. The decline of patriotism. Welfare children. <laughs> Welfare children. <laughs> County is our specialist on that. We try to keep them thinking with us. We have a number of young candidates committed to us, like young Jimmy there. We have talented professionals like you, Reinhardt. We've got the dedication. We've got the money. we got the airtime. Boy, we think it's just about time we happen. Mr. Rainey, who's going to be the object of your concern today? Pick anyone you like. You fill in the background when you get back downtown. That is, if you can figure out how to read this jive. Well, I guess I'd like to see anyone who has the time. Everyone around here has lots of time. Follow me, Mr. Rainey. Are you receiving welfare benefits? 
He's receiving his sister's welfare benefits. He dresses up and cashes checks. Oh. That's a damn lie. Man, don't look twice. He cashes the check, he knows it good. Mm -hmm. I handle my sister's business affairs. I have powerful attorney. You mean power of attorney, sweetie. <clears throat> a powerful attorney is what you need when you get caught swindling the welfare. What does your sister do for money if, if you're taking her checks, see? She has men. Oh. So do you. Somebody complain on me? Well, who complain on me? It's, it's nothing like that. It's just part of a, a survey. <laughs> I had a baby. They said I had um, TB or something. Now they're keeping her in the, uh, the hospital. Now, kiss, how come they can do that, huh? Well, uh, that must be their procedure. I read about this, this girl in college. She had a baby. Mm -hmm. And she killed it. And then, she put it in a shoebox. See concern, young people growing in hell with. I'm, I'm, I'm all right, Joe. When I came back from South America, I had a, uh, a bout of illness. Maybe you religious man. I don't know. I, I have always thought that without God, we keep finding the insect in each other. We we uh, tear like it, like insects. But they say, Mr. Rainey, that God is an insect. No, no. God is in man. Hey, 
Boy, that boozing is really going to get the best of you, good buddy. One time I woke up in a room full of turtles. <laughs> no, it was really full of turtles. Someday we'll go to Tibet and we'll sit on a mountain and we'll work it all out. Me too? Yeah, me too. I'll be happy. Lunch, sure. I don't ask questions like that, do I? No. No, you don't. Does your wife drink? Yeah, she drinks. Does she make it with other people? Yeah, she drinks and she makes it with other people. Well, I don't see how you can blame her because, I mean, you're not there. I don't blame her. She didn't make it with other people when I was there. She didn't even drink very much. Yeah. You feel very bad about... about leaving her, don't you? If I was there, I'd feel a lot worse. you got... you got no right to be so cooled out. I mean, nothing is free, Reinhardt. I don't need you to tell me that. Well, you want to live, don't you? Or is that something low grade? Listen, friend. Things being the way they are, I just take it by the day. I got no plans. I leave it to other people to mess up their heads with strategy, playing tricks on themselves. I got an adjustment. I like it. Dig? I don't knock my adjustment. Mm What about me? You don't ask questions like that. Oh, you are a smart mouth bastard, aren't you? That's a put down. You put me down, I'm gonna jump in the lake. <laughs> you would jump in the lake? You damn posy dude. You better believe it. No one is more dramatically self destructive than I am. Uh, you wouldn't jump in the lake. But I would jump in the lake. Hey, you're drunk. You can't even swim. The hell I can't. Hey! There are alligators in there! Sharks, not alligators! Kill me. 
Hello, easily land. I got your number. You're a man killer. Hey, how about little old me getting smart old you to jump into Lake Pontchartrain? <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> He's just trying to get back. Hey. What you doing? I was looking for Mr. Clotho. Pops? Don't you tell Clotho one of his gentlemen callers is here. I don't appreciate you being here, Roosevelt. You know that. I come to spend my money on the good wine. Our outspoken black press gives me the day off. Thought I had you fired. They must have forgot. Well, you can hang around, just use your mouth to drink with. How about it, Mr. Rainey? Any more sightseeing today? I, I guess I don't want to see anyone. I don't have to. I didn't know you like I do. I'd be disappointed in you. Roosevelt, this is Mr. Rainey. He's one of those concerned young white folks who walk through fire and water for the Negro race. Yeah. I saw him at it the other day. Bye-bye, Mr. Rainey. You say you uh, work for a newspaper? There are some things I'm trying to make sense of. They mean a very great deal to me. And... You know, things get funnier every day you live. They don't get no better, Dick. But they sure as hell get funnier. Wh what? It what is this? Who is Clotho? What's, what's going on here? There is a definite pattern of discrimination in many parts of the United States. Man, for God's sake, talk straight. Baby, don't you tell me talk straight. That's a straighter answer than you deserve. Shit. You stand here in the middle of Clotho's place and say nobody's treating you right and what's going on? Damn, man, you the boss. How about I ask you? What's going on? Look, I'm only one man, and I, 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 I don't pretend to be innocent of anything that's happening here. I'm just trying to find out what these people are and what they're using me for. runs the big store for all the Mr. Charlies downtown. If they want something to happen in our happy little community, why, Clotho's here to make it happen. Like right now, they want a lot of people cheating on the welfare. They don't have to go around bothering themselves with who is or who isn't. Whatever they need, old Lester's gonna give them. You see, there ain't no survey. <laughs> ain't nothing being surveyed. There's a bunch of politicians whose current thing is getting a lot of bloods kicked off relief. And you hear about it on the radio. On old WUSA.
You gonna get up there and whistle Dixie for us next week? Yes, sir. Well, I mind driving you to drink, Reinhardt. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Thanks for coming, folks. Bye. See ya. I think I ought to mention we're liable to have trouble next week at the rally, considering the neighborhood. That's absolutely confidential. You, you don't mean you expect the, the who's it's to try to break in, do you? Well, Jack, I got the best security money can buy, but you never know. Something can always turn up. It's not always such a bad thing if it does. That's the trouble with you, Jack. You show sure bit. You don't know what a real crowd's all about. I don't think that's true, Big. Why, well, sure it's true, Jack. Take that boy, Todd. That boy there, he knows his way around the turpentine. Just an honest technician. You know, we've got a lot of folks around right now that are not going to be with us very long. Why, they think we're in the dream business. We're in the reality business. We're a movement now. And this station exists for that movement, not the other way around. You boys had better get a good grasp on that, because it's going to get pretty goddamn obvious once we really start to roll. If you can't stay in the saddle, you're going to get left. If you get left, son, you better get the hell out of the way because what's coming behind us is like to run right over you. I believe I can handle anything that comes up. Sure, Jack. You're all right, buddy. Sometimes I think you talk a little tougher than you are. He doesn't give a damn. He'll say anything about you in front of anybody. Even me. Look, I, I, I didn't mean it that way. I... Listen, d does he ask questions about me? Do you know, I'm... do you think he's got somebody spying on me? Yeah, me. What? No, no, if it, if it was you, you, you wouldn't tell me about it. Look, I, I, I'm going to tell him you said that. Don't, don't joke about a thing like this. What else is there? Exactly call him cool, but I don't think he'll have us busted. I, I just want to know what's going on at the uh, radio station you work for. Well, what has it got to do with Calvin Minter and the research he's doing on the welfare situation? Calvin Minter, I remember him. He has a happy face and he sucks things for his breath. Well, he's, he's got some kind of a, a plan to, to make publicity for himself by starving people out of town. They all got plans and it's pretty weird. Well, I want to find out more about the plans. I am not the one who knows about the plans. But I can assure you, speaking for myself, that I got no plans of any sort whatsoever at all. I'm not trying to compromise you. It's just that you're the only person I can ask. I'd sure hate Reinhardt to be the only cat I could ask. Why, why do you do it? Yeah, Reinhardt. How come you work for those degenerate creeps? They are some of the finest people in the community. It's true. They are terrible when they're aroused. Man, they're terrible all the time. She speaks like an extremist, because she doesn't see the big picture. Now, speaking as a communicator, in my opinion, 
There's deep confusion in the popular heart and mind. Explanation numbers are very big. I mean, I think it's great. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's like a study in sheer existential amorality. <laughs> I speak to the troubled heart, I bring music. Who's that? Are they cool? It's all right, man, we're cool. You, have, you haven't got enough talk or whiskey to hide behind. You know better than they know. I can't believe you're such a bastard that you've lost your humanity. I want you to tell me what's happening. He wants to know what's happening. Somebody always raises that question. You want to know what's happening? Dave, I'll tell you what's happening. How do the fish live in the sea? That's what's happening. Look in the penny arcades, man. Look in the taco stands. That's what's happening. Yeah, look in Walgreens. Remain calm. All the important decisions have already been made. You know, this cat is an athlete of perception. I'm going to tell him what's happening. What's happening, Rainy? is that things are getting chilly. Reinhard. Yeah, one by one, the warm weather creatures are gonna topple dead with frozen eyelids. Creatures of the cold will proliferate. The air will become thin and difficult to breathe. Wow, that's great. The summer soldier and the sunshine patriot will be screwed. Reinhardt. I want an answer from you. He's freaking out. No, he's about to make a statement. Don't stop now. You are the voice of Christian witness in this slough of despond. My God, you are an evil fool. Well, you try waking up in a room full of turtles. You're very good at special pleading, but there are other people hurting beside you. Yeah, there's you. I'm not even evil. What do you say, troops? Is Reinhardt evil? No. no. Great. You hear that, you corn pone Christ? I'm just a drunk. Well, that's too bad, but the value of everyone else's life didn't change because you became one. What do you know about the value of any life, you crippled freak? I mean, drunks can be dirty, but they don't leave a thick, smelly film of piety around them. I put it to you. This creature's God skunk. He arouses his conscience and he stinks. It doesn't matter what I am. But human life is a gift. The muck of the earth was raised up to consciousness. Blood was made warm. We know that. I mean, uh, warm blood and gifts and humanness. We all had that trip, man. None of us could swing with it. Sure, that's over now anyway. Quit your job at the morgue and get Badanovich to turn you on to something else. You'll feel like a million dollars. Hey, Rainy. See, these people don't understand you. But I'm a moralist. Like you, I know your anguish, and I got no right to deny it. So let me give you an alternative. Drop dead. Reinhardt, don't do that. Drop dead while you're among friends. Well, it's valid. Well, that's a valid alternative. An artist, and you sure put him down. Not at all. And when someone says something that's a drag, I gotta try to say something that's a worse drag. Oh, Christ.
You didn't have to cut him up like that. Forget it. But why are you so mean? Self-defense. Self-defense. You're as drunk as it gets, aren't you? That's right. And no moralizing twitch is gonna bleed all over me. God, I hate whiners. They're evil. Well, why don't you have him busted? Then you run with all the big people. That's good. That is very good. What do you want to eat? I wouldn't want you to think that by feeding me that you were adding to the troubles of the world. Because I can walk out any goddamn time. I can walk out of anything. I know how it's done. You don't think I would? You son of a bitch. I'm going to go out and put some people on. You just better watch out, because you're going to put on one too many people, and you're going to get yourself... Shot. Like that lint head that married you. I swear, you must be some kind of killer. You must have talked that kid into getting himself shot. Jesus. Mm. It's no help. Like the poker player says, no help. Looking for something? Uh, my name is Martin Rainey. I want to see Mr. Calvin Minner. This is a private. I, I'm just telling him I'm Judge Alton Rainey's nephew and that his office directed me here. Nephew, huh? See, I can get you, Mr. Miller. It's just a matter of finding the right door. Of course you can, Bo. What is it you want? I've been working on your survey. You survey people on relief? Mm hmm I've been working on it all this spring. Oh, that's fine. That's mighty fine. Yeah, but it, it's a fraudulent survey. It's a device for throwing people off relief at random. It's a political swindle, and you thought it up. This must be the latest thing in shakedown. It's a fraud, isn't it? There's no real information being collected. It's a sham. 
Look, Rainey, whatever information you may have come into about our survey about me, I mean, it's worth it. I'll decide what it's worth. What the hell is the matter with you? Is your uncle after me? <laughs> my, my uncle isn't after you, I believe. I'm after you. Good afternoon, sir. I'm your Bunny Celeste. May I take your cocktail order, please? No, no. Thank you, sir. I want to hear you tell me what have I been doing in those slums all year. Well, I tell you, you... You way off base coming up here, boy. I mean, you try to shake us down, we'll give you great big trouble. What have I been doing all year? I want you to tell me. Now, listen. Our survey is M.T. Bingaman's operation, and I'm acting for him. Mm -hmm. Now, boy, we can stomp on you and your whole damn family, and you know that. Anyway, nobody cares about that collection of unwed mothers and pimps you got down there. That is nobody but the goody-goody. Uh, let me ask you something. What is it you thought you said? I have you. I have you. I have your name in the side of you, but I want your boss. I get it. You one of them fanatics, huh? Yeah. Yeah, well, you shouldn't have been allowed in here. Let me tell you something. I mean, you see, we don't deal on a personal basis. I mean, we, we, we don't have nothing to do with personalities. It's just no personal involvement whatsoever. You, you have a personal involvement with me, and so has your Mr. M.T. Bingerman. Rainy, look, I'm, I'm getting a little tired of this. I mean, you know, I don't care whether you're an eight ball or anarchist or whatever the hell you are, but you got to get one thing straight. You cannot come into a public place and try to shake me down. Forget well, it. Well, I wish I could shake you down. I wish I could grind you and shake you to powder. But if I can, I can teach you fear. I, I think you're afraid of me already. Me afraid of you? That's right. Mm-hmm. Now, let me tell you something. It's you that's going to be afraid. You and all the dirty little scum like you. That's right. You're going to lie in bed at night and just quake. Everybody in this whole country is out of line is going to learn fear, and that's going to be very shortly. There are some people in this country who are going to learn fear, and there are some people who, in this country who are going to unlearn it, and that'll be very shortly. Now, you just wait a minute. You get rid of this idea real quick that you can come in an establishment like this and threaten businessmen. Because, you see, when we got business with... People like you, your kind, you know what we do? We go and we grab them like that and we drag them in there by the teeth, that's what. Let's have a little understanding, a little arrangement between us all, Mr. Miller. I'll remember you in these places like this, and you remember I'm, I'm out there, okay? Okay, you bet your boots I'm gonna remember, fella, cause uh, you a sick man, you gonna need a lot of treatment. There may be a price I'm gonna ask of you. What price? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, what price? The WUSA Loyalty Forum can be your way of standing up for faith, flag, and family. Talk to your neighbors about our programs, keep informed, and make a point of attending our WUSA Patriotic Revival. WUSA! Now we'll leave you with one message, the big message. The future of America is up to you. <laughs> Yes, that's right. You come out and stand over by that wall there. Didn't you sign a loyalty oath? Yes. Wasn't that a perjured oath? No. Wasn't you arrested on a moral charge in Tampa, Florida? No. You in serious trouble. You know that? Have yeah, a we'll look at your apartment now. Uh, well, that's that's fine if you have a warrant. You ain't making it any easier on yourself, causing us all this unnecessary work. We're coming back tomorrow. Or maybe sooner than that. If I was you, I wouldn't be here.
you make all this rhubarb for yourself? I ask too many questions. Yeah, well, that'll do it every time. What'd you find out? Don't say anything else, okay? You come on. Come on. Come on. Stay. Oh, stop it! Reinhardt, in here? Listen, if you want to see Reinhardt, you just have to come around when he comes up to change his clothes. Not that it's doing much good then, of course, because he's always paralyzed drunk. Oh, who's this you got to do something about? A man. Some, some kind of man. Some kind of evil fool has got to be stopped. Take it easy. Well, don't do anything too far, baby. Because that's what you are. You, baby. And you can get one of pay for my divorce. I'll tell you that. Are you the good guy? Well, there ain't no such thing as a good guy or a bad guy. We just all in this together. We uh, wear different costumes. Me, I wear white. The other guy wears black with a little pasted on mustache. Of course, if folks want to root for me, why, uh, <laughs> I don't mind. Well, like they say, kid, they say that the only beast in the arena is the crowd. Oh, that's bullfighting. <laughs> Let's make ourselves feel at home with a few sacred songs from the, um, 
on the uh, clean doorstep. Mr. WUSA himself, Matthew T. Bingaman. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We are proud to take you back through the pages of history to a tradition of the Old West, which has helped to make our country great. You tell them, folks. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be bringing you the Southwestern Freestyle Killer Quick Draw Contest between two national champions. <laughs> With us to referee, we have one of the great recreators of that tradition, a great star and a great American, Mr. King Waldo. <laughs> Gentlemen, from
It's an old habit of mine. You coming along? No, I can't. There's someone I gotta check out. Make it soon, old son. Or you'll find yourself in someone's conspiracy theory. Dangerous times, what? Violence, disorders. Nobody's straight these days. Right here. Okay. 
right on. Stay alive. She's clean, no spike marks. No weapons. Just the marijuana. That's a felony charge. That's 15 years in this day. Where'd you get the fancy slicing? Answer up, girl. On the road. They'll want you for court in the morning. Pay her no mind. You won't be here long, so behave yourself and enjoy your privacy. You make any trouble, you'll go uptown with a troublemaker dress, and they'll fix you up. Are you gonna behave? Leave her alone. She ain't right in the head. Now behave yourself, you hear? Evolution's a gas. Man, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Things have heads, man. Why? Because when you're going anywhere, you got to be able to deal with what's there. And to deal, you got to get your dealies in on the scene first. I mean, you got to lead with your dealies. You got to be able to deal with what's there, right? Right. It's beautiful, Reinhardt. It's beautiful. I mean, it makes so much sense, man. Wow. 
What a world. Hey, there haven't been any cops here, have there? No, not to your place. There was some over there at uh, Rainey's. They took a lot of stuff, writings, things, I don't know. You know, I, um, I've been around. I've seen a lot of things, man. I never saw anything like that stuff last night. You think that's the way things are going to be? People want it that way. That's the way it's going to be. I'm just going to tell you one thing, Reinhardt. You could figure it out. Geraldine is dead. The cops come around to the hotel this morning. Boy, she's such a good girlfriend to you, Reinhardt. She gave my address to yours. She got busted last night and she hung herself up in her cell. They made me go down there. I saw her. She got nobody, Reinhardt. Going to put her in the potter's field. How'd that make you feel, Reinhardt? Sad? Oh, what the hell you mean, sad? Well, you know, real sad. you mean. She hanged herself? She hung herself up with a chain. Oh, Lord, receive your servant, Geraldine, what's her name? <laughs> what can I say, dear, now that I said I'm sorry? <laughs> it must be so sad. Won't 
set me free What's happening, Reinhardt? I was out there and sad. Yeah, that's, uh, that's one way to put it. But don't worry about it, Reinhardt. Everything's dying. Not me. I'm a survivor. Ain't that great? <laughs>